You may have not noticed because they all kind of look the same, but Kimberly left and this is Tammy. Yes, I love questions from the audience, except for this one. I don't care about fashion. I don't care about hair. Let's get into the juicy stuff. Also, look how young Andy looks. So cute. He's like a little baby. <laughs> they talk about Botox and breast reductions and implants. And then Andy asks if they read the newspaper or if they voted in this election. He then replies, if you're willing to share that, to which one of the ladies says, yes, I will because I'm Republican. Then Gina says, when you ask everyone in Orange County, everyone we know is going to vote Republican. And then it's like, how did we not win? Do you think Gina has talked to anybody outside of Orange County before? Or do you think she keeps her friend group pretty limited? They don't seem very diverse on this show. They move on to talking about Joe and Slade, and they broke up for good. Slade was kind of controlling, and he was mad that Joe was going to a lingerie party. Then he pretty much tries to gaslight her. Then after they broke up, pretty soon at a cocktail party, he already showed up with another woman. Joe was devastated. Joe shares that she is re-independentizing herself. And Slade didn't like that too much. So they just grew in different directions. We got another email from the audience. Slade, sorry, I mean Amanda, wrote an email asking why Slade would even put up with Joe. She's so disrespectful and such a bitch. And then Joe handled it like a champ, which was nice to see. She was like, oh, I'm human and I get mad and I can be disrespectful at times. It's cool that there's emotional growth and fair enough, but where's the drama? Andy asked Joe about her feelings on the Slade and Lori thing. And she just explains that she was uncomfortable. And then they have a calm, productive conversation about it. Boo! Bring the drama! Then they talk, then they talk about how Shane, Gina's son, wants to sleep with Joe. And how all of his friends are constantly encouraging him to hop in the sack with her. And then Gina makes a comment about how Joe needs a man that treats her badly. Because that's what Joe's attracted to. And by golly, her son can do it. What, what a weird thing to say and be proud of. Then they talk about how Vicky's controlling. Which, yeah, she seems like the type of person who would love control. Lori met a guy named George on a blind date, and they've been inseparable since. I mean, it's true love, and they got engaged. Whoa, back it up. Isn't Shane the one that was accused of being gay by all those articles? Because he didn't show enough attraction to women, apparently. Now he's out here referring to Tammy as tits? Part of me wonders if he's overcompensating. Last season's Shane seemed so reserved. But I guess he's not anymore. It kind of sucks that he involved in the frat boy, but here we are. <laughs> Someone asked Gina why she allows Shane to disrespect her friend Tammy. And to make fun of and tease his little brother. And she basically says that she needs to make sure there's no booze in her house because... He was probably drinking or something. Of course, that's not him. That's not who he really is. It was just this one time. Joe then says boys will be boys. And then Tammy talks about how it's inappropriate and how she's going to make sure her son never behaves like that. She says that the show taught her that she needs to be more strict because obviously she doesn't want to have kids end up spoiled kind of like uh, Gina's. <laughs> Then they talk about therapy and keep repeating that they need to have more structure for their kids. More boring stuff. Andy decides to bring the kids on to chat. And he just shows a bunch of clips of them being super disrespectful. Someone calls Super Nanny. Gina needs some help. Shane talks about how he has changed since he went to college. And how college allowed him to spend 
a few nights with some ladies, if you know what I mean. Andy asks Shane if he's still going after Joe. And Shane says that Joe doesn't really know what she wants, but he knows what he wants, and they're just not on the same path right now. Other than that, nothing interesting happened. Now we cut back to the ladies, and Bravo is airing out Gina's marriage problems. Gina talks about their disagreements over their parenting styles. And then there's a clip of how he didn't show up to her birthday party. And then just a bunch of clips of little fights here and there. Andy asks all the ladies their thoughts, and essentially everyone's like, we want you to be happy, whether that means you leave or not. Then they show off Tammy and her ex-boyfriend's relationship ending. Little fights over co-parenting, and a bunch of other stuff. Tammy explains that Duff wouldn't commit, and she wanted a man that would commit. After 10 years and a 4-year-old baby together, he just wasn't ready to put a ring on it. So she moved on. Then they finished the episode talking about Joe singing and like a bunch of other little things that nobody cares about. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure to leave a like or dislike. Leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Bye guys! They talk about Botox and breast reduction. <laughs> then Gina says, you know... No. Excuse me. And then they all talk about how Shane, yes, Jean's, Gina's daughter, daughter, no, <laughs> and how all of his friends are constantly encouraging her, encouraging her. <laughs> then as some, then there's, <laughs> then someone asks Gina why she's out here. No, and Shane says that Joe doesn't really know what she wants, and he knows what he's. And then a bunch of clips of just a little bit of spits and spats everywhere. And then, a, and then just a bunch of clips of a bunch of spits and spats. No. And then just a bunch of clips of a bunch of spits. <laughs> it's time to let go. Never mind.